Even if there's no sun on track. Oh my god. And we're just gonna kind of like intensify. I was gonna use this right here too by Too Faced, do you? I'm scared to use this. I am really scared to use this because I don't think I want to use this, guys. Not today, because I'm, I'm starting to look too good. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I'm just going to... It's going to be a little bit of something different. I'm just going to use, like, some pal a palette that I haven't used in a long time, which only used this palette once, and I just... This is what it looked like. So, I decided I wanted to go ahead and um, use this palette one more time before I get rid of it. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I have not used or I've used only once and I just want to, you know, reintroduce myself to these items. And like this makeup, I just got at TJ Maxx. If you guys have not seen that uh, video, I will leave it here somewhere. TJ Maxx unhaul, I mean TJ Maxx, uh, what do you call it? I got a brain freeze. Um, TJ Maxx, uh, TJ Maxx haul. So if you guys have not seen that video, I'll leave it linked somewhere up there. Alright, so, um, yeah, let's get started. If you're not new here, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified to upload a new video. So, uh, we're going to go on and we're going to clean up our eyebrows. And basically, I'm just filling in my eyebrows just in the spot that just need to be filled in. So I just decided to go ahead and use up some of my makeup because I got a lot of makeup that I really need to use. So I'm like, why not play in makeup today? Okay, so I'm just going to prime my eyelid with this concealer and this, actually I just got this out of my BoxyCharm, this month BoxyCharm, and the color is Undercover. And I'm just going to use this for my, um, my, um, lid color. Okay, we're just going to take this sponge and we're just going to blend this out. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our Burkina. 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 Burkina is this color here. And we're just gonna use this as our transition color. We're gonna keep it in our upper crease. And we're gonna go into Zuba. And Zubo is this little purple color here. Okay. Now that we get that color in, we're just going to go ahead with this fluffy brush again. And we're just going to blend everything out. Yeah, we're going to use this Makita color. I guess that's how you pronounce it. This color right here. And we're going to put this just on the outer crease. On the outer crease, guys. Mm. I'm changing my mind. Mm. Now let's keep it this color. I just want to try something different. And we're just going to place this on the outer corner. This is probably why I never picked up this palette because it really doesn't have mini matte color. but. We're going to try this. All because I like this color, you know. And 
I want to use it. We're just going to place it just on the outer corner here. This palette is so freaking old. I think I got this palette when it first came out. Maybe not when it first came out. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, guys. But I probably honestly had this palette maybe a year. How about that? Now we're gonna go in with this blue color. Yay! We're gonna go in with this blue color. Mm. We're gonna go in with the blue on you. Let's use this flatter brush here. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's go on and use this one. Mmm. Ooh, baby, look at that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take that blue and we're gonna put it on our lid. Okay? Yeah. The lid here, look at this, baby. Let's tap it in. We're not gonna do no cut crease with it. I just wanna keep it on the lid part. Yeah, let's just keep it on the lid. If you guys want want me to do a cut uh, a cut crease with this, yeah, let me know down below. This blue is really cute. And if you want, you could just use your finger too. Actually, your finger probably would do even better. Just kind of like want to feather the ends of that color out so it could blend in seamless. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this light color here and that's what this will look like, this color. We're just gonna put that, we're gonna place it on the, um, the eye bone, the brow bone. We're gonna wear something close to false eyelashes. And it is better than sex. We're gonna use this baby. Let's go ahead and get our lashes together. I think we're done with this eyeshadow. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and use this Elf Primer and it's by Elf and it's the Beauty Shield. It has the SPF um, 50 Skin Shielding Primer. So this would be really good if, you, um, if you're going out in the sun. Yeah. And we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna prime my skin. If you guys notice that I didn't put no moisturizer on, that's cause I'm crazy like that. But it's okay. But we can put some moisturizer on. And this right here is by Clinical Works. Intense Deep. Uh, this right here is a Moisture Serum. Moisture Serum. So if you guys want, if it's going to bother you if I don't put no moisturizer on, how about if we just take a little bit of the serum and put it uh, in between on the on the clean skin and do it that way. How about that? Now you happy? Okay. Let's blend this baby out. So now I'm getting two in one. I'm getting the moisture and I'm getting the sunscreen protection even though it's snowing outside. So I'm not gonna need no sun, well, some people put it on, even if there's no sun or no crap. Oh my God! <laughs> it's turning white because it has that sunscreen. I've never used this, but I hope this baby gonna like go clear once it dries up. 
If it's not, if they don't, we in trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. I look like a ghost. Well, we'll find out when we put our makeup on, won't we guys? Okay, so the foundation is going to be Numb Mag, and this is a Laura Mercier Silk Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. And I picked this up at TJ Maxx. Cause with a little squeezy thing, we're gonna put a little bit on the back of our hand so we can warm it up. I don't know. Let's check this out. Goes on. I don't like the smell though. It's not like I'm about to paint my skin. Let's put a little bit more on. Okay, that should be enough. Let's just go ahead and we're gonna wet a sponge because we're gonna use a sponge instead of a brush. And we're just gonna pat this out. Let's go in with these two. So light and dark, I have to mix these two from wet and wild to get my perfect shade. So I kind of want to keep it more on the bright cup side. Don't want to put too much of a concealer on there because you don't want it to start caking up. And since I want my under eyes to be more of a, a bright color, we're not going to put too much of the dark on it. Okay? Okay. Thought you'd see it my way. So we're gonna take the pointy side of this uh, um, blender and we're just gonna blend this stuff out just by patting it in. Blend this out, going up on the side of the nose and out to the end of your eyes, like that. So let's contour a little bit. As you guys know, I love to use my sponge to blend out, but I do have a contour brush, but you could use this too. Let's use this. Let's just do something different. How about that? Now let's go in with our blender. Okay. We're just going to chisel this stuff out. How about that? Let's just take our finger and kind of like blend this out. I don't know how this right here gonna work, but let's use the mirror. Okay.
And put a little bit up there. Okay. So not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Now for the blush, we're gonna go in with this. Um, it's called Side Tea by London. It's, it's the Halo Marble Light. I got this in my boxy charm. Yeah. Cause I don't want, you know, I don't, cause my eyes are bold. I don't want my blush to be bold. I just want my blush to say, yeah, I feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna use blue eyeliner. I want to use this blue. See that blue? Can you guys see? 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 I want to use that blue or yet another blue or this blue. Oh, oops. I broke the tip. Or the dark blue. I think I'm gonna go with the dark blue. I tell you what, I'm gonna use both of them. Let's let's experiment this. Okay, we're gonna use this light blue in the in a tear duct. Okay, and then we're just gonna go with the dark blue on the outer. So that way we don't discriminate. There you go, guys. There you go. Now for the lips. What are we gonna do? Let's see. What about that color? Purple. Purple, purple. I think let's let's go with that, y'all. Come on, let's do this. We're not scared. We're not scared. We're not gonna be scared of this. We're gonna try this. Purple, 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 purple. Let's experiment. Mmm. Let's experiment. Um, you know what? Let me see something. Let's see if we mix these two, what it look like. Let's mix those two there, okay? I don't know what it's gonna look like, but we're gonna mix these two babies. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Oh, you know what? Let's take the lip gloss off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stay mainly on the outer shape of our lips, okay? And we're gonna put that purple in the middle. We're gonna put the purple in the middle, okay? So let's do this. We're using this color as a a liner. Okay, and we're gonna go in with the purple color. And we're just gonna fill it in.
It's not bad. This purple got to pop just a little bit more. <laughs> Let's go on and set our face. And this is my Morphe. It's okay. Okay guys, let's put some lip gloss on. This is the back tart TARDIS. Are we gonna go on and use this? <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I did. I enjoyed filming this look. It was fun. And I used a lot of things that I have not used before. Things that I have already used. And just reintroducing myself to these items. And as far as using this Urban Vice lipstick. This is fun because I love to play in makeup. I love to experiment. I love to mix colors. To see what I come up with. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't have on any lashes. I didn't want to put on any lashes with these. But I mean you can. But. I just did. I didn't feel like it. So I enjoyed myself, guys. I am so glad you guys um, tuned in with me. And I'm, I just want to say thank you so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate you guys. And um, if you like this look, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know that you like it. If you don't like it, still let me know. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by to show me some love. On your way out, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And let me know if you subscribe to me. If you're a new subscriber and you subscribe to me, let me know and I will support you back. All right, guys. So I enjoy. I love you guys. And I shall see you in my next video.